So the first point that I'd like to make is that fear is not necessarily a bad thing. Fear actually is a good thing in a lot of scenarios, such as when you're standing on a cliff, it's probably a healthy fear to not stand too close to the edge because that could mean death. So a lot of times fear can be taken in a negative connotation, but also fear can be a good thing, but it's something that you have to manage, right? And this is interesting because we teach our kids to have fear of certain things, such as a fear of strangers and a fear of walking in the street. And these things have to be taught because there are dangers that can't be perceived by a kid. So we need to teach the kids to have a fear of things that could harm them. So it does make sense that the fear of the Lord could be a good thing. And I think that the biblical point of view on this lays that out. Job 28, 28. And to man, he said, behold, the fear of the Lord, that is wisdom. And to depart from evil is understanding. Isaiah 33, 6. And he will be the stability of your times, a wealth of salvation, wisdom and knowledge. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. Psalm 112, 1. Praise the Lord. How blessed is the man who fears the Lord, who greatly des delights in his commandments. I really like the analogy of a father. So if you were a child and you didn't have a healthy fear of your father, then you would not follow any of his rules. But you know, if he spanks you, then you're going to have a fear of being spanked. And so you're gonna, going to no longer want to break the rules. So a fear of your father, while can be bad, can also be good because there is a fear that is not healthy and there is a healthy fear, more of like a respect and an acknowledgement of authority and power, right? Proverbs 14, 27. The fear of the Lord is a fountain of life that one may avoid the snares of death. So when I first heard this, that the beginning of wisdom is the fear of the Lord, I didn't know what to do with it. I didn't have a fear of the Lord and it didn't make any sense to me. I'm like, well, it feels like I'm getting wiser but I must not be. And we see this as a theme in scripture that don't lean on your own understanding, but lean on the Lord, right? And so don't follow your own rules, but follow the Lord's rules. And a healthy fear, it goes a long way in that aspect. So basically this goes hand in hand with discipline, right? Because without discipline, you can't gain wisdom. So without fear, you can't gain wisdom because ultimately your commands, your will will be above the Father's will. But the beginning of spiritual growth is acknowledging that your ways are corrupt and that the Father has better rules, right? So we put his commands above our own and that is going to put us on a path towards understanding. Well, this is a short video. Hope you guys liked it. If you did, leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys around. Psalm 19, nine. The fear of the Lord is clean, enduring forever. The judgments of the Lord are true. They are righteous altogether.